Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so I got the big guy out in the store. We have some people around, just like mild traffic. Come here, good boy. Um, he's doing awesome with it. So yeah, we're just letting him drag the leash. He was, he was like, I don't, I don't know. But um, man, he's come a long way as far as like being confidently exposed to this. You can see like, wait, you can see a lot of like looking around and, and stuff that kind of tells us maybe Maybe he's concerned, but he's processing things really well. Ben, heel. Um, he's getting along good with all the other dogs and, and that. Matt, been getting along good with my kids. We're really happy with how he's doing in general. Ben, heel. Good job, buddy. Ben, down. Good job. Went down was kind of like the old man getting down into a bath. He did well with it. So, so obviously, once we get him to a certain point, we want to work on duration and distance and distraction levels and stuff like that. So, it's always it's always good to get him out, have him like obey around stressors that they would typically be very uncomfortable about. Now, when he first comes home to you. I probably wouldn't have you doing this kind of stuff right off the bat. We'd want, we'd want you to gain some confidence and eventually get up to where you're doing public downstays. Okay, buddy. With you stepping away, but for right now, um, yeah, so when he comes back first, he'll mainly everything you're going to be doing for the first uh, three to five days is going to be on leash. So if you take him places, you'll be you'll have control over him because with control comes confidence and then with you being confident he'll go into social situations feeling led and secure and structured and all that good stuff so um yeah it's gonna be a gonna be a fun thing and a happy reunion next week but i'm really proud of how he's doing so far hope you guys have a great day